the Joe Rogan experience. If you could go back, <laughs> if you could go back at any point in time, see how people were living. Ooh. It'd just be like an, an invisible, bulletproof bubble. Yeah. Where you could just exist and watch, and no one would know you were there. Whoa. That'd be fun. If you were like 1890s no and you were just yeah. not the no racist danger. guy. Or dinosaurs. No danger. Yeah, anything. Wow. Whatever you want. 1930s Whatever you want. Germany. No, uh, <laughs> occupy, <laughs> occupied France. I want to see what Give me that I would want all, <laughs> Occupy Wall Street. I'd be like, this is so quaint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little you Get guys ready, know what's kids. coming. <laughs> <laughs> Soros has like, got you guys more have planned for Really us. good idea, but like, uh, it seems like you're not doing a lot with it. Right. I would say Dark Ages Plague. No, that'd be a nightmare. I know. Just to you just bullet see right. Your bulletproof's bullet a good detail too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're you are in another universe. Okay, you're you exist in another dimension. You're in, you're in a dimensional sphere that's yeah. allowing you to take place without you can't, you can't talk to anybody. You can't be watch. interacted with. Nothing can touch you. Mm. Impossible. So you you're, can't you're, fuck middle aged whores. No, no, you can't go nutty. <laughs> you know can't, go nutty. can't go nutty. <laughs> middle aged whores were eight back then. <laughs> 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 Everybody died at fifteen. <laughs> Jack <laughs> Ogre. Eight year old cougar. Everybody was dying. They were just dying. There's a book, right there's a book called there. The Great Mortality by John Kelly. I was looking at is fucking crazy. The <laughs> King of England showered three times in three months. Oh, wow. my And that was God. a scandal. Everyone was like, this motherfucker. He's using up the water. He thinks he is something else. Right. Oh, no my one God. Shot. It was rare to change your clothes once a year. God. Wow. Yeah. Well, and that's what shower. they said about the Mongols, that their clothes, because there was yeah, animal skins. Like rats. They were shit. literally, <laughs> yeah, rats. Living they literally them? rot off of them. Oh, my wow. God. Their, 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 their so clothes were, mad. like, rotting off of them. There's oh. two places I would go there. Like I would want to see Genghis Khan take over, yeah, like, cool. cities in China. Sure. I would like to see that. I'd love to see a, somebody being at a Pol Pot village right before he comes. Oh shit like that. God. Yeah. Imagine the pussy smell then. <laughs> That's Louis XIV was terrified wow. of bathing. He said to have taken only three baths in his life. Oh, I thought it was in three, three months. That's, oh, crazy. <laughs> That's a different story. Three different, different guys. Oh, okay. Wait, considerably oh, worse. One. Louis took the trend for perfumery to new heights by uh, Is this com the sun com king? commissioning his perfumer to create a new scent for each day of the week. Oh, hold on. Oh, That's, yeah. part. That's the bro. Oh, That's actually about? like they the thought water spread oh, disease. Oh, it was thought that water spread disease, so the less you bathed, the less vulnerable you were. Which it probably did. Yep. Wow. Yeah, it's like pond water. Yeah. Wow. Bring so they're just shitting into holes in the ground and yeah. not oh. washing their assholes. The cities were just same water. Everyone throwing their shit out of their fucking oh, window. Right. Dude. No plumbing. I was slaughterhouses everywhere. There's rats everywhere. everywhere. The detailed when people were like at the beginning of the, the turn of the century in America and what it was like in like the early 1900s in America. Yeah. In oh, cities. yeah. They couldn't get food up to <laughs> them. It was oh. horrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. You think like Amazon. Amazon's dropping off your produce. No, like back then, no one's dropping off jack shit. You, yeah, you're living in the hell. city. No one's growing anything. Yeah, that's it. It's Terrible like, nutrition. Check out this uh, this is an article called The Disgusting History of Royal Palaces. Hell uh, yeah. Just the very like first thing. King that's Henry's a, court. They what about move. it? Because I have so much human waste that was accumulating. Oh, <laughs> so wow. they keep moving. They weren't just <laughs> just moved, got a new <laughs> castle. <laughs> they actually did escape the disgusting messes large royal parties produced. Palaces like Henry's Hampton Court had to be constantly evacuated so they could be cleaned of the accumulated mounds of human uh, waste. No plumbing. Livestock and farmland also needed time to recover after supplying food for so many people. Once the tour was over, Henry and a swelling court of over a thousand would keep moving for the rest of the year, traveling frequently between the king's 60 residences in a vain attempt to live in hygienic surroundings. So he just kept shitting in all his different houses. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <where> he <laughs> <laughs> He's the original shit order. He, yeah. <laughs> he, he shit where he ate. Like, what you <laughs> yeah, that's where it comes from. I've been in there fucking eating poop for 12 Bro. years. We got to move. Imagine <laughs> these poop fucking bladder. people didn't know not to just shit in your house. He's a hoarder. He just kept moving. A spot you don't want to go spot. outside. This room's done. You go outside, you might get hit with an arrow. Yeah. Right, just yeah. shit, shit in the palace. Yeah, there's yeah. a guy with an axe outside. There's yeah. a million Jason Voorheeses outside. <laughs> <laughs> you look. Oh my God, the hallways would become so caked with grime and soot from constant fires that they were fairly black. The very crush of the court members was so dense that it made a thorough house cleaning impossible and futile. 
The cleanliness standards were subpar throughout the, the medieval Renaissance and Regency eras. Royal courts were typically dirtier than the average small cabin or home. See? I'll be honest. Europe still fucking stinks, dude. <laughs> Does it? It's yeah, of that. I was just there last week. It was fucking <laughs> really? Stink. None of the windows are great. <laughs> no, no we're sh- fucking deodorant. They got the dude. BO, bad. That's they true. call us fat, dude. They stink like shit. I That's don't care. That's true. <laughs> they do stink a lot. Oh, it's the worst. Eh, I'm not doing great. Are they noticeably <laughs> um, fatter? No, no. They're way thinner. Oh, they're thinner. Way, way no, thinner. they're thinner. But I'm saying UK is catching up. Big UK's time. got some chubs. UK's on our heels. Dude. Yeah, oh, really? The they're just ten years, twenty years ahead of them. They're uh, pasty. All the fast food and shit. They right. just got to they're getting it. They're gross, fat, like pasty and red. There's nothing wrong yeah. with being pasty, red, and fat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some people like it, dude. Some girls like it. All, all right. right. <laughs> but yeah, you know, they said uh, in old New York, they'd have to. They had a. A company that would just move dead horses out oh, of the road because horses wow. would just die and they just leave it there. What are you gonna yeah. push it in a dumpster? Yeah. Oh Jesus! Who paid for that? Taxes? It, and there's I guess. horse shit everywhere. Yeah. Oh, horse shit everywhere. But it's like an old car that oh. just breaks down. You just leave it. Wow. And by the way, imagine living in a whole city that's filled with people who took a fucking. Boat from Europe. <laughs> oh. Everybody's a gambler, dude. Yeah. Everyone's a gambler. Those are wild folks. Yeah. Ellis yeah. Island must have smelled a boat horrible. that might not get there. Oh. Might not get there just for the chance. And right. what, how do you? How much do you really know about what's over there? Yeah. Nothing. Not, somebody lied to you at a bar in yeah. fucking yeah. Ireland. <laughs> dude, the streets are paid hey, with hey, gold. gold. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting fifteen gold pence a day. <laughs> and then you show up and you're like. What is this black Son guy? Son of a bitch. Yeah. Who's yeah, this? Yeah, you show up and go, <laughs> yeah. hey, you're pollution? going to fight in the Civil War. Yeah. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> Wait, we're in a war with Italians <laughs> here? Yeah, yeah. Right. We didn't meet them before. You got to <laughs> shoot at other Irish guys right uh, away. <laughs> weird. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. The Donner so- Party. Like, let's take a chance Donner on a different party. state. Oh, Those are all dude. We're headed west. Yeah. Grandpa just died. Just keep walking. Should we go yeah. next year? Ah, we got to go this year. Yeah. <laughs> There's God something damn. over there. <laughs> Curiosity. How many people had they talked to that made that journey before them? Yeah. Fucking. Was there anybody? No, no a couple. The one oh, guy was yeah. like, I know a better way. The guide. Oh, the guy yeah. said, I know the a better way. But he also was like, oh, you got to leave by March. And they're like, late May still works. Oh, pre map quest. Yeah. Oh no! They just assumed something literally was over a there. Map quest. <laughs> they yeah. heard. Literally a map quest. Literally yeah. a map. They're trying to make a map. <laughs> they were just guessing. Yeah. <laughs> they were kind of guessing. They would eat like leather and shit. Bro. Yeah. Just yeah. boil a shoe. And they were fucking the whole time. Well. In the back of those wagons, they were yeah. all fucking. They would have kids. They'd have on kids. Their, yeah. Really. Yeah, there's nothing to do. You're just stuck in the back of a wagon with They a split up. One of the two parties had one fucking axe for firewood, and they were swinging it, and then the fucking axe handle just flew off 200 yards into the snow, and they were like, we're all dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He couldn't They're, find it? It was gone. What? Yeah. They, they, they had to leave a lot of trees on fire, wait, and that did didn't work you, very well. Uh, did you read that book, <sighs> Under the the Indifferent Stars Above? No, we were just nearby there. Yeah. Oh, really? All the history's everywhere. Bro, they found, when so they found terrifying. them, they were like, snow, the snow drifts were so big that they were in pits of like 20 feet of snow. They would like, the people, the, the rescue people found them. They would like look in the pit. They'd see someone just like yeah. eating humans. Oh. Like, but, oh. They're like, oh, we gotta just cover this pit. This person's oh. dead too. Not to mention some fucking Choctaws coming at you with <laughs> yeah, a face some, paint. And some hey, bullshit on a horse. Chippewa. Yeah. <laughs> no, they see. Yeah, they had a couple of Indian guides, and then they saw them looking at them like drumsticks in those cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you guys are on your own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sacagawea. Sack lunch. <laughs>